Okay, guys, how you doing? Uh, so very quickly, uh, so yesterday when I was doing that, so this is uh, kind of, uh, I suppose it's, well, it's a to-do with another YouTuber, um, which is the House of Assume, okay, uh, and having her account hacked. Now, if any of you have been following my channel for a little while, and you actually watched my uh, Aquarius reading, which was labelled that I did yesterday, you may hate me after this, and all I could talk about, and Spirit was plaguing me, channeling without cards that were saying, uh, about YouTube and about people like planting their stuff all over people's YouTube channels and blah 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 and it was to do with around copyright material or copying and stuff like that or copying people's ideas there was a lot of comments that were saying that that was representing things that were going on in their life and then all of a sudden I turn on my computer this morning so I don't know if this is the same as you guys that are on the phones and stuff but on my computer when people post things up on discussion pages so I don't know if you are part of Lulu's channel and, or if you know of her but uh, yeah, please go over and say hi or well if she's got her channel back hopefully that she has but anyway I wake up this morning and there's a uh, a link on the discussion page where you can see everybody that's writing in their discussion pages on their channels of something around that the hackers have pretty much hacked my account again so on and so forth and uh, trying to get it back and that there's a backlog and, and so on and so forth so it suddenly made me realize that yesterday when I was channeling for Aquarius when I was saying hacking material people stealing people's where it's physically well I said it was stealing and it was a lot to do with things that kind of happened little things that kind of happened around my channel but um, this is obviously more serious so I don't know if Lulu has uh, I don't really know what's in her chart I don't know if she has Aquarius or Leo or eights you, you know if you follow my channel you know that I read in numbers mainly um, but it came up in the Aquarius reading huge 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 and it was also around Sagittarius as well which is five okay so it'll be like Taurus Sagittarius placements life path fives and then a representation of Aquarius Leo which would be eight and eight okay so I don't know what is in what's chart uh, if it if it be in her chart or the people that are doing this, okay. But um, yeah, I mean, I don't know if she finds this channel. You don't have to give me a shout out. I'm sorry that I'm also calling your name out. This is not what I'm after. It's just the fact that uh, me being uh, the way that I am and the way that I channel, when I come up with these kind of things, they are disturbing. A lot of my people that watch my channel, they say, why some? Like, why is it that you all seem to be talking about YouTube and talking about all of this kind of stuff? Well, it represented a lot of people that were in the comments saying that this was happening around their business, okay? And also around other things. And then, like I said, you'll never know what happens until it happens. So me, for instance, I'm kind of like, as soon as I see that on YouTube this morning, my instant thought was, okay, Aquarius reading, copyright material, copying stuff, which was basically implanting all of my... Uh, well, it came up where it was around a story of spirit of saying I was representing it to is putting my business on other people's channels and so on and so forth and trying to grow as a channel, whatever that is. OK, but you see, it actually came up where these are probably people that are in comment sections or hacking people's accounts, so on and so forth. And it was in that reading. So I don't know if Lulu does find this and she wants to quickly take a look to see if it represents anything that may or may not help out. But I can't stand getting these messages. And uh, when they're so strong, like they were in the Aquarius reading, to let you guys know that when they come up, they're not always, like messages may not always be about you. Okay. They'll always be about the most dominant question or dominant thing when I'm like when I'm channeling right the most dominant uh, thing that's going to happen will be pretty much what it is that they're telling me that's what I'll end up starting to channel okay so like I said it might not be where you're watching your you're watching your sign but it actually involves you but it does if you witness this kind of thing happening and then you're watching the reading you're thinking ah that was in the Aquarius reading you see when it comes to tarot and when it comes to stuff it's not always about like your love lives and things like that there's more to it there's more depth to the truth you know things that happen in life don't always represent you or because it, it represents your soul group things that happen publicly and so on and so forth right so um yeah i just wanted to do that because i'm just about to actually do the pisces reading for everybody and uh i just thought you know what i'm probably going to end up talking about this on the pisces reading so i might as well just make a, a, a separate video just to keep everybody informed and aware that it did actually come up in the Aquarius reading. So if your Aquarius is watching and you're kind of like, 
well, I watched that reading and it was crap and blah, 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 and it wasn't really involving me. There you go. There's the answer to what Spirit was saying. Okay. So again, it also proves things that, that are set in motion that can't also be stopped. Karma cannot be stopped. Things that happen cannot be stopped. Devastating things that happen in life can't, or most I heard Devi, also devil. Um, so it might have something to do around a Capricorn. Okay. But, um, you know, they, they can't be stopped. And sorry, I'm kind of getting like strange messages at the minute. So I'm gonna have to stop. <laughs> but like, uh, yeah, if you, if you watch and you start to see signals, a lot of the time when I'm speaking, you have to see me as like the cigar, uh, what was it? Ghost Patrick Swayze, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes like when I'm talking, I, I have to talk in order to just get whatever it is that they're saying to slip out my mouth without me thinking. Okay. So, you know, if everybody understands about channeling, you'll notice that a lot of the time when I'm talking, don't worry about me, where I'm talking about me or anybody else. Just listen to what's being said because you don't know if it's me or spirit or a message, okay? So take me out of the equation and just look at it as a conduit of message. It's like a radio. It goes through me to you guys, whatever it represents, it represents. Under this for unfortunate circumstance happens to be around someone's channel. So please go over and give your love and support to the person whose channel it is that is um, being, and if any of you guys, uh, you know, it's, well, it's Lulu, it's the house of a shoe, okay? <laughs> so I'm sure you do know of her, right? Uh, anyway, so thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. And if you're a Pisces, don't hang fire because we're pretty much just about to do your reading. Thanks very much, and I'll see you soon.